information on anxiety. A lot of parents wonder when typical teen angst or stressful moments for your kids actually qualify as something that should be diagnosed and treated. Well, that's what we asked Dr. Kathleen Hipke with SSM Health, and she says that's usually determined by your child's ability to function like they normally do. For instance, if they aren't able to fall asleep or if they lose their appetite, that could be a sign of something a bit more serious. Other physical symptoms could include headaches and stomach aches or just never being able to relax. Just creating a space that you sound really overwhelmed or really worried about this, tell me about that, is the first step. Because what that does is help an older kid or a teen begin to put words to their experience. That in of itself sometimes helps regulate the emotional centers of the brain. It also creates less isolation to be carrying the worry alone versus with another. So the next few weekly tips on our Time for Kids Time to Talk page will focus on anxiety. You can find those at channel3000.com slash time for kids. We also have a number of stories on mental health related topics and advice from SSM health doctors so you can start these very important conversations.